Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and in this video I'm going to show you how to make courgette pizza bones. So the other week I showed you how to make a cauliflower pizza base, but this recipe is so much quicker and it makes the perfect snack or light lunch. All you'll need is one courgette, then you'll need some either pizza sauce or, or I've got tomato puree today. You'll need some basil and salt and pepper to flavour it how you like. And then for toppings I've got some light mozzarella, some cherry tomatoes and some button mushrooms. But you could swap them for whatever vegetables you want. So to start you want to wash your courgette and just slice off the ends. Courgettes are a fantastic source of vitamin C and fibre and are also low in calorie so they're great if you're following a calorie control diet. You then want to slice it lengthways and that's going to make the base of our courgette pizza boats. So you then want to put your courgette halves in a baking dish so that they stay up straight and then we're just going to pop on either the tomato puree or the pizza sauce. Tomatoes are a fantastic source of antioxidants which keep us healthy um, and then we're going to be adding on the mozzarella which is a great source of protein and calcium followed by our vegetables. Once you've topped your courgette boats with the tomato puree, mozzarella and vegetables, you then want to add a little bit of seasoning, so I'm going for basil and black pepper. You then just want to pop your courgette boats in a preheated oven at 175 degrees C for 30 minutes or until the cheese is all bubbly and the vegetables are soft. So once your courgette pizza boats have been baking for 30 minutes, they're ready to serve. They honestly make the perfect snack or light lunch as I've said before, and if you want you can serve them with a side of salad. I'll put all the information about calories, carb, protein and fat, as well as pictures and the ingredients and method on my blog which is nixnutrition.com. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this recipe video, and if you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next week.